sponsored by Lexus of Las Vegas and Lexus of Henderson. With the stock market bouncing up and down these past few months, many have started to think is now a good time to invest. We have local financial professional Brad Zucker from Safe Money Advisors Live, and he is here to share what different age groups need to consider before investing. Good morning, Brad. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning. So first, let's talk about the condition in Wall Street. There's been a lot of uncertainty so far, but where do we stand right now? Well, our longest bull market run on record came to a crashing halt back in mid-March when stocks tumbled 30%. The good news now is that stocks have mostly rebounded from hitting their lows in March. But the volatility that we've seen this year can cause some investors to panic. So it's never a good idea to make financial decisions or investing based on your emotions. Having a rock-solid financial plan will help you during the highs and lows of Wall Street. And now for people who want to invest strategies that looks different and depending on how old you are, or your age group, where you belong. So for younger folks, what, where do we stand? What do we need to do? Well, young people saw the recent downturns as unique opportunities to start investing. But it's important that newcomers understand the risks when it comes to investing because nobody can predict what's gonna happen next on Wall Street but smart investing is all about thinking long term. So a powerful uh, strategy that you could use for long term investing is dollar cost averaging. When you consistently invest the same dollar amount over time, on average, your average cost per share will be lower. Right. And now for middle uh, aged investors, what should they remember? Well, if you're still working and still five to 10 years out from your retirement, you should be ramping up your contributions into your retirement account. This is why it's wise to reevaluate your portfolio as you get older and you want to reevaluate your risk tolerance or how comfortable you are with money that's exposed to the market before you're about to access it. And of course, it's different for those who are nearing retirement right now. So what would be your best advice for them? Well, don't get concerned about the current ups and downs and the swings of the market and let it affect your decision. If you're in or near retirement, you can't afford to roll the dice and risk your life savings hoping for a good outcome. Your goal at this point should be to reduce your taxes, increase your income, and lower your market risk exposure. All right, Brad, is there anything else that people need to know, strategies and the advice for them? Yeah, it's very important that you uh, stay with a long-term plan to reach your end goal. This way, you're not making your money decisions based on emotions or based on current market performance. Always, Brad. Those are very helpful advice. We'll have all of this at ktnb.com money. Thank you so much, Brad, for joining us, and we will be right back.